Thank you for purchasing the FMK Flow Monitoring Kit by Neptune Systems, and welcome to the Get Started video. Here's what should be in your box. FM module, two half-inch flow sensors, four half-inch BSPT to slip fittings, one one-inch flow sensor, two one-inch BSPT to slip unions, and one three-foot Aquabytes cable not shown in this picture. Please do not pick up the flow sensors by their wires as this can damage the flow sensor. If you're not comfortable with plumbing in your sensors, it would be recommended that you have a plumber or an aquarium professional install the flow sensors for you. Note that all our flow sensors have BSPT threads. BSPT stands for British Standard Pipe Tapered and are not compatible with NPT threads. This means that you will not be able to just go down to your local hardware store and get plumbing fittings that will attach to the threads on the flow sensors. This is why we have included the fittings and unions in the FMK kit. The reason we went with slip fittings in the kit is this way you can connect multiple different types of fittings to your current plumbing system. Example. You can attach a piece of pipe to the slip fittings, or you can attach fittings like barb, female pipe thread, and male pipe thread. Attaching the plumbing fittings to the flow sensor, it is recommended to use a thread sealer paste to prevent water leaks. Thread sealer tape can only be used on the half inch flow sensors, but if you're installing a one inch or a two inch flow sensor, it is mandatory to use the non sealing thread sealant such as Rector Seal 5, and it is best to use this on all our sensors. Teflon tape or PTFE paste should not be used on the larger fittings. The quarter inch flow sensor uses a compression fitting so no sealant is needed on these sensors. When using the thread sealer paste, you can apply it to the ends on the flow sensor and the female threads on the unions. Only apply the sealant to the first four to five threads of the female and male fittings. But you do not want to use an excessive amount, more is not always better here. When planning out the placement of your flow sensor, you want to make sure that you do not install the flow sensor in line with anything that can clog or obstruct the flow sensor. For example, it would not be wise to have the flow sensor installed on the output of the biopellet reactor, that way the waste particles do not clog the sensor. Instead, it would be best to install the sensor on the input side of the reactor to avoid this. When installing the sensors, it is important to notice the direction of flow indicated on the housing of the flow sensors shown in these pictures. If the sensors are not installed correctly, this could affect the reading that the flow sensor sends to the FMM. The flow sensors are water resistant and will withstand an occasional splash or drip, but they are not waterproof. For the best resistance to such splashes and drips, when installing, orient them so that the point where the cable enters into the body of the flow sensor is pointing down, and if possible, also give the cable some slack so that you are not putting any strain onto that cable. All the flow sensors come with a cable that is 16 feet long. This should be ample for most installations. If that length is insufficient, position the FMM closer to the flow sensor and use a longer Aquabus cable as needed to connect to the FM module and the APEC system. Neptune Systems does not recommend attempting to extend the flow sensor cable in any way. At this point, it would be helpful to take the time to label the end of the flow sensor cables with the correct size of each specific flow sensor. This will be beneficial when setting up the FMM and for any troubleshooting needed down the road. Mount the FMM with your other modules, and make sure that the flow sensor cables can reach to the module. Please do not attach the sensors or the Aquabus cable to the FMM yet. It is important that your Apex base unit must be running the latest AOS 5.01 or higher to be able to support the FMM module. If you are unsure on how to update your AOS on your new Apex system, here is a YouTube video link to watch a different video on how to do this.
Now plug in the Aquabus cable to the FMM and you should get a green solid status light. In Apex Fusion, navigate to the expand icon. Next, click on the module icon to look to see if the FMM shows old or OK. If the FMM shows old, then update that module by selecting it, and in the action menu, choose Update Firmware. Next, click the orange Save icon. Now you'll see the update in process. Once this is done, click OK. Now we'll choose the module icon one more time to make sure the FMM module shows OK instead of old. Now that we have updated the module, we can plug in each of the sensors into their individual ports. Navigate to the expand icon, then click on the module icon. Next, you're going to click on the FMM module, and then choose in the action menu, configure. In this menu, you can choose on how you'd like the flow rate to be displayed in gallons per hour or liters per hour. By default, it is going to be set to gallons per hour. You can also see that auto detection is on and all the flow sensors are set to default at one inch size. If you labeled the cables like we recommended earlier, this will make this part a little easier to identify what size flow sensor you have into what port on the FMM. In our diagram earlier, port 1 was a quarter inch. Port 2 was a half inch sensor. Port 3 was a one inch sensor. If there is nothing plugged into the FMM port, the default sensor is water on floor. After configuring the flow sensor sizes, click the Save Configuration button. Then click the OK button. Now let's navigate to the dashboard by clicking the dashboard icon. Now navigate to the unused tile bin and select that icon. Now you'll see the flow sensor tiles for the flow sensors that you have connected to the FMM module. You can now drag and drop the tile onto your dashboard. Go ahead and close the unused tile bin by selecting the padlock icon one more time. To rename the flow sensor, and set up the alarms, click on the gear icon next to the flow sensor. In basic, the only thing you can do is change the name of the sensor. If you choose advanced, now you can change the name and also set up the alarms for the flow sensor. I renamed this sensor BioFlow for my BioPellet reactor. It's on a PMOP that runs 100 gallons an hour. So I'm gonna set my high trigger at 105 gallons and let's go ahead and set my low trigger alarm at 90 gallons. This way, if the pump goes below or higher, I will get an alarm saying there's something wrong. Now click the save icon. Once that's complete, go ahead and click OK. Note, when you're looking at your flow sensor graph in Fusion, and you say in your head, I thought my pump was supposed to pump X amount of gallons per hour and the flow graph is showing something different. Why would this be? You need to remember that the gallon per hour number that a pump manufacturer gives on a product does not take in consideration pipe fittings like 90 degrees, 45 degree angles, T's. All these things add up and cause reduction in the flow just like the pipe length and a vertical height all create head pressure and turbulence that will reduce the flow on the flow sensor. The key here is to look for trends. Thank you for purchasing the FMK. Now that you have your flow sensors installed and your FMMs mounted and configured, you are ready to gather more data about your flow in your aquarium. I'm sure that you'll find that our control freak users out on the forums are going to come up with some unique ways to use the flow sensor and that information. If you need any support, First thing we can do is have you go into NeptuneSystems.com 
either hover or click on support. This will drop down a menu and click on contact support. In this menu, scroll to the bottom and fill out the form here. We'll start with your first and last name, email, phone number, and a few information regarding the APEX and the date of purchase and a few other items. Please then in the subject line, let us know the problem you're having and then a detailed description so we can better help you. Thank you.